I've mentioned before how this Bomberman game could easily justify its own episode. However, this game goes so deep, I'm going to have to break this game down into multiple parts. The most obvious place to start is with the cast of characters. The plot of this game borrows heavily from Christianity and various parts of various Christian mythologies. Some aspects of the plot of this Bomberman game could be seen as blasphemous to some. But my task here is to explain the origins and bring clarity, because it isn't quite so black and white actually. Nevertheless, the Astral or Elemental Knights were inspired by the Archangels mentioned in Revelation 8-2. And I saw seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. There are seven knights, and together they reflect and serve a similar purpose to the seven archangels. On the other hand, as the Astral Knights, they also reflect the seven princes of hell mentioned in certain Christian mythologies. Unfortunately for me, there is very little consensus over which seven demons are the princes, and Hudson does not show a favor to any particular list. So let's look at each knight individually. The first knight is a reference to the demon known best as Baal, or more accurately, Baal. I say more accurate from the respect of representing the word's origins. In many cultures, including the Abrahamic ones, Basically, the longest-lasting religions use El or Al to refer to God. It is not a word for a specific God, but just for a God. Much in the same sense, most Bible translations have replaced all instances of the Christian God's personal name with the generic God and Lord. Some groups believe it is disrespectful to verbally utter or write God's personal name for any reason. So for them, I will not speak his actual name here, but you can look it up. You may be familiar with the corrupted and mangled translation Jehovah though. Anyway, one variant of El was Ba'el. This was commonly used by pagan cultures the Hebrews interacted with, and the Hebrews proclaimed the generic god name used for these pagan gods to be alternate names of the same pagan god it usually references. To give an example, the Greeks could use Theos to speak of any god, but Zeus would probably be the god they would use Theos for the most. Ba'el was used primarily for the pagan god, Hadad. Later on, when people got into demonology, many of these pagan gods became demons and even princes of hell. One last interesting thing is Ba'el is a word used to describe the fruit of a sacred Hindu tree in the Africa-Asia region, known as the birthplace of man to many major religions, oddly similar to that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. In Japan, his name is similar but closer to that of a demon named Veilfar. If you swap the B with a V, and swap the last L with for an R, in English it becomes closer. This demon is known for both having a connection to thieves and trapping his victim. Veilfail is fought in a prison planet. In translation, this seems to have been one of only two names that lost anything. Also, one more last thing. I know it's like my third last thing, but thanks to the internet dictionary forcing random words to my phone, I've been informed, baleful is a word meaning menacing and malicious. The second knight's name comes from Behemoth and Bahamut. This is traditionally an ancient dinosaur-like monster from Hebrew mythology, but it's like his brother Leviathan, often considered a significant and evil demon. Only Behemoth has great strength. Bahamut originates from Arabian mythology as a kind of Leviathan-Behemoth hybrid of an even greater scale that has been tasked with holding the earth in space. The key thing, Behemoth's strength and size, reflects these guys. The Honorable Wind Knight is ultimately based on the goddess Ishtar and Astarte, who are essentially the same pagan fertility and war gods, just from different cultures. Being male, he is likely based on the male version of the goddess named Ashtaroth, you would recognize this pagan god's pagan Christian holiday, Easter. Like others, this pagan god was eventually classified as a demon. One thing of note about him is his ability to control serpents. Guess what his stage contains? Snakes. The female lightning knight's name comes from Azazel, sometimes spelled Azazel. This demon was considered the patron demon of scapegoats. In Japan, she was supposed to reverence Baal, but along with Baalfail, this was lost, probably because of his name being improperly translated, and the guest Azazel. Personally, I like her English name and meaning better. 
Remember how dad though? He was a storm god, and Zale is a lightning knight. Another pagan god the Hebrews encountered was named Moloch. Over time, like the other pagan deities, he was classified as a demon in disguise. In Paradise Lost, Moloch was characterized as a great and powerful warrior. Moloch, the knight is known as the strongest knight physically. This is the one that is hardest to pinpoint. In Japan, the name is identical, but without the H. Name-wise, Soneon has the closest name, but nothing about her particularly fits with the Knight of Light or Pleasure. So Neon is the demon of hate. Maybe hate is pleasurable? This name for the Knight of Darkness comes from the demon Beelzebub, known as the Lord of the Flies. This is very fitting since flies help eliminate decaying corpses, and he waits on the planet of death and consummation. I've always been fond of exactly what they did here. In Japan, there's not a clear difference between L's and R's, and the Japanese often mix up the letters when working with foreign words. When translating a Japanese work, referencing the Western alphabet, often the translators forget to check L and R and see if they should be swapped. Mega Man X Command Mission infamously has a typo only in the manual, calling the antagonists the Liberian Army. Swapping the L's and R's, you get Rebellion, and it is clear at that point what it was supposed to be. Here I'm thinking the Japanese developers and the translators at Hudson were playing with this problem as a kind of joke when naming this guy. It could be an accident, but in this case I like to think they swapped them deliberately to give the antagonist a cooler name with the same meaning. Swapping the L's and R's, you get Lucifer'th. Yes, I just said Lucifer with a thick lift. I'm sure everyone is aware Christian mythology has given Satan the alternate name of Lucifer. However, Rukifilth is actually a pretty nice guy who is possessed by Shtheroth. This demon lord antagonist takes his name from the Egyptian god Thoth. We're getting to some major spoilers, but things are about to make a ton of sense. Thoth was one of two deities that kept the universe balanced and helped balance a boat sailed by Ra the sun god on his daily travels. Originally, Thoth and his other half were considered the supreme Egyptian gods. Lilith was the name of the first succubus, who mythology states preceded Eve. In truth, Lilith is possessed by the angel Mihail. This is likely a reference to Michael, one of the archangels. One of the major tenets of the Chova's witnesses is that Michael, the archangel, is actually another incarnation or name of the Christ, or literally God. However, this name is also coincidentally similar to Thoth's female counterpart, Mayette, who also kept the universe in balance and balanced Ra's solar ship. Mayette represented truth and justice. The angel, the fusion of Thoth and Mahal, is all a reference to these two Egyptian creator deities. And when we get to places, this will all become even crazier. One last note about all this religion. In Japan, the majority of the people practice Shintoism, and the Japanese culture is a lot different than Western cultures. The Japanese tend to follow several religions and not one exclusively. Most Japanese practice Shintoism and Buddhism or Christianity. To be brief, they augment a religion we are familiar with with Shinto elements or tones, and Shintoism evolves to reflect the secondary religion. Shintoism is an extremely complex thing, and it is almost synonymous with Japan. It almost is like patriotism and national pride, and even those who do not actually practice or believe in Shinto will still claim it as their primary religion for such cultural reasons. I'm sure someone could spend hours and explain Shintoism far better than I will in a minute or so. One of the major Shinto beliefs is the separation of good and bad, and most things have good divine parts and non-divine parts. The point is this whole thing may not reference Shintoism, but it will be colored by certain principles. So in Japan, it isn't seen as quite as blasphemous to imply God and Satan are essentially one entity that divided itself. The Japanese perspective would be closer to one single sentient cosmic force being divided into a kami persona and an evil persona. God and Satan would be two distinct personas who came from one cosmic force. So this game isn't some anti-Christian propaganda piece put out by the devil to defame God. It is colored by a foreign culture. <laughs>